Yeah, Philly made the um, made like Uber pay them like two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year because they like the they they sell ta- they call them taxi medallions. So you have to buy a license, and the license were worth a lot of money. And then once Uber came in, that like nobody it was, it's like a liquor license, but for like driving taxi cabs. Right. And they just plummeted. They're like almost worthless now. Wow. So then the P- Philadelphia Parking Authority owns the cabs, and they're like, you got to pay. You don't like them, do you? No. Do they? It's fucked <laughs> up. Uber. No, no, no. I like Uber's fine. Cows. Philadelphia Parking Authority. Oh. PPA. Dude, we Fuck have a fucked PPA. up thing going on there. What's going on? They'll just, if you get parking tickets, they'll just come snag your car. And like the parking, t- they double in value. It's really fucked up. And then they just sell your car. What? And then they charge you money. I've gotten like two cars taken. <laughs> what? <laughs> Fucking. And they're like $500 cars. <laughs> they were, $500 cars. They would take them and I would just go, fuck you guys. One time I went back because you, you had to write like what, if, like, you, you could go get your valuables out of your car before they sold it at auction. So I went back and you had to fill out a piece of paper what was in there and I put like a giant dildo and I put all this stuff and they had to take it back to their guy and have it written off on his preset. Nice, you got him. Pretty tight. Suck our dicks, PPA. Yeah, fuck you guys. <laughs> yeah, but they take your, they'll take your shit and just repossess it. And then- How many t- tickets do you have to have before they take your car? Now it's like two or three, dude. What? Yes. You get so on, you, you get have on the a boot BMW. List. You got a new BMW. Yes. You get two or three tickets you don't pay, and they put a boot on you, and they take your car. Yes, and, and if they you sell don't, it at all. and then they charge you every day they have it, and then if you you can go back and bail, basically buy like you can pay them, they hold it like hostage, and you can pay you can pay them to take the boot off, and they won't tow it. But if you if you're late, they'll tow it, and then you got to go down to a lot. You got to like call a bunch of people, like figure out where your car is, and then you go down there and you pay for them, they give it back to you. Oh. Now if you don't pay it back in time, then they sell it off at auction. Oh make a ton of money doing it and they can also do a thing where they've <laughs> taken my dad's car with my brother owed money because they had like the same name what? and they're just like sorry dude is what it is you got to pay us and come get your car but dude they're it's they're it it's criminal even if it's not your car yeah, or just, you, your, your kid's car yeah but they're both they both have the same first name so they're like oh it was a mistake but they're like you still got to pay and it's like you know like, <gasps> fuck you it. still got to pay even though it's a mistake you can't there's nobody you can talk to it's the oh Wizard of Oz. You go up to like blacked out glass and just talk to a lady who's just like 300 stairs. I got my car towed when we were filming Gillian Keeves. I, I was supposed to be on set. I walked to my mm-hmm. car in the morning. The car's gone. Go out there. It is. I, I had to go like a dock. Yeah, dude. The car was just behind like an old warehouse. I had to talk to the, behind the glass. There was just a black lady. I was like, hey, where's my car? She was like, get out. <laughs> like, she was dude, like screaming at me. It's it was crazy. A it's crazy, man. The, I thought the that story I was going to tell would be better. No, it's, well, you have to get, when you go down there. It's like a barbed wired fucking fence, and you go in, and there's just someone's mean as fuck. It's it's like a it's crazy the way they do it, and wow. then they control all the parking in the city. They set all you know all this stuff. It's they're bad, and apparently, from what I've heard, the money doesn't even go to the city of Philadelphia. It's actually it goes to like some GOP, like it goes to the state weirdly, or part of it goes to the state. Really? If you try to look up the PPA, they say it's a quasi-governmental agency. So, like, we try to follow where their money goes. It's kind of really hard. Should to we Google this, or we should just take? Look it up. It. Look it up. Yeah, look yeah, it, look it up again. Like that one we might want to substantiate. Yeah, true. No, no, no. If I'm wrong. I'm wrong. But fuck them anyway. But <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah. We don't I've been beefing with the PPA. Fuck the PPA. I've been beefing with the PPA forever. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But fuck them anyway. Fuck those guys, dude. Yeah, they are pussies. They dude. took they took my '88 Camry, dude. Me and my brother bought twin Camrys for a thousand bucks. We bought two '88 Camrys <laughs> off this old lady, and we were bopping around together. And they she fucking she had two. Why did she have two? I have no idea. Swap. You guys parts. got matching Camrys. Matching cameras, sick. bro. 88 cams. We were nice. buzzing around. It was this so... the same old lady that got crushed by Vince McMahon. <laughs> <laughs> that was probably her best. That was you and your brother. You and your brother power bombed her. <laughs> that that fucking lady went down hard, bro. Yeah, when you that get a can't ticket, be good. When you get a ticket from the PPA or any of that, when you're fucking, uh, like when we when we lived together, I had zero dollars. If I got one ticket, I was bankrupt. <laughs> one ticket, I had yeah. zero dollars. I know I those hated times. Them, bro. Yeah. Uh, by law, all PPA's on-street operations net revenue is allocated to the city's general fund of Philadelphia School District. Wrong. Bullshit. Wrong, it's, no, it's no. bullshit. It's bullshit. On-street operations revenue uh, okay. is generated from meter payments, yeah. permit fees, parking fines, vehicle auction, auction proceeds, and booting and towing fees. <laughs> they had a thing where the, the, they weren't giving the schools money. <laughs> I, at least I thought I saw a thing where the schools were like, yeah, they It says it, it brings in 265. Go back to that. It says <laughs> it. Go no, back to that. No, it's bullshit. It goes, it's their fucking it website. It's their website. It's their website, $264 million dollars a year in annual revenue. Uh-huh. Just from Philadelphia from parking tickets. $264 million in fucking parking tickets. Dude, you tell me that's going to those schools in Philly? Look at the inquiry. Overpays executives and has too many political... Yeah. Uh huh. Exactly. Oh, it turns out the PPA's website might not be telling the total fucking story. 
Hmm. Let's see what it says. Fuck the PPA, Matt. I fuck. I I can't stand them. Damn. But, yeah, man. If someone takes your 88 Camry, dude. You'll be fucking salty. Yeah, man. you're never gonna let it go. You're gonna wait till you get on the highest platform on earth and go <laughs> fucking pieces of shit. <laughs> well, when you get incentivized to have that much revenue coming in every year, what if nobody parked bad ever again? What if everybody did the right thing? Everybody paid the meter, and all that 264 million dollars dried up. What the fuck do they do now? That's the problem. Uh, well, it's like, get, there's an incentive. Yeah, yeah. Like to catch people. I can't even read those signs. Anytime I try to park, it's like Monday oh, yeah. through Friday. They, yeah, they go over those things six, with fucking trash. thousand grit yeah. sandwiches. Dude, fuck them. And, those signs and they uh, they also will get you for inspection. If your inspection's up, they'll they'll take it you every single day. Really? Until you, yes. Wow, motherfuckers. Bro. Yeah. Mm. But they had a problem. One time they were supposed to, there was like a gap in what they were supposed to pay the schools, and they had to be like, oh, no. Right. So what does it say here? 2007 Parents United, a Philadelphia parent group that fights for school reforms, successfully sued the PPA for failing to pay the city and school district under its 2004 obligations. During these years, the PPA was technically in breach of its agreement with the state and greedily withheld greedily. money that it owed. Look greedy that. PPA, dude. I'm telling you, man. I like how it says greedily. Ooh. Greedily. Yeah. It's pretty, yeah. Mm. But either way, I mean, uh, I'll, I'll stop talking about that. No, anymore. I like it. It's all right, dude. I like when people are mad. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny. That's fun. Especially against parking tickets. Especially the truth. Well, it is a fucking <laughs> gross thing when you're poor. And yeah. You're fucking, you, know, you can't even just leave your car somewhere. This guy followed me to Sheets in my Corolla, and he got me. He's at the gas station. He stayed and ran my plate just because I was driving a poor person car. Yeah. And he followed me out of the gas station and then pulled me over. It was like, your registration's expired. All this stuff's expired. I was like looking at it. It was me and a, I was with a dog. A dog was <laughs> <in> shotgun. <laughs> and I was like, this ruins me. Yeah. Like, I'm literally, I have zero dollars. You give me a $180 ticket. <sighs> you tell I'm them fucked. that? I mean, I was kind of like, are you serious? Are you serious about this? Like, I'll yeah. go get it, please. It was my yeah. inspection. He was like, man, nah, yeah, yeah, he was young too. He yeah. was like my age. That's what their job is, though. No, I know. I wasn't mad yeah. at I, I mean, yeah. I was mad at him just because I had zero dollars. What's fucked is they have quotas. Yeah. Yeah, like and cops have quotas for pulling people over in certain places and it's kind of like unspoken It's not like written on paper in some places because it's not technically legal But I've talked to a lot of cops lately. Like, you have to make a certain amount of revenue. You're basically a glorified revenue collector Yeah, yeah Pulling yeah. people over and making money for the state. You're not stopping any fucking real crimes no. doing that no, no, that's fucked up. And they call yeah. it activity. They'll be like, you're, you're low in activity.